Welcome back to week two of the North American LCS Summer Split. We're gearing up for our next match, which just happens to be a replay of our spring split semifinal. It's Team Solo Mid versus Team Impulse. Now, TSM had a slow start to the split going one and one, and their schedule gets even harder this week. Yeah, and talking about hard matchups, historically, this has been Santorin's hardest jungle matchup. And these two guys, Rush and Santorin, were number one and number two when deliberating about rookie of the split last split during spring. These two guys expose one another's weaknesses more so than any other jungle matchup. Like towards the end of the previous season in the regular split, Santorin, he didn't really have early game pressure versus Rush, and that was exposed from him, and we saw a lot of that at MSI. So when these guys expose each other's weaknesses, they're on display for the world. And in playoffs, Rush, he had to expand his champion pool. He went to Sejuani, he went to Nunu, and they had really lackluster performances. So every time these guys clash, one of them gets the edge, and the other one just looks like they have a lot of improvement to do, and I want to see which one it is today. Yeah, I almost feel like Rush creates those types of situations with how aggressive he plays. Yeah. Another lane I want to watch this game is basically the mid lane, for obvious reasons. Xiao Xiao as well, though. He used to be known for his consistency in putting up huge games back when he was on LMQ, best mid laner in the NALCS for a split. But then this year, there's been a real fall off for Xiao Wei Xiao. He actually had the lowest kill participation among all LCS mid laners in the spring split North American LCS mid laners. But then, you know, according to Impulse's owner, Xiao Wei Xiao, he's reinvigorated the split. He's going to bed early. He's waking up early. He's practicing much harder than he did in the spring. And that's incredibly important for Tip, especially in the TSM matchup, because if Xiao Wei Xiao can go even with Bjergsen, the rest of Tip will have enough skill, I think, to take down TSM because they are stronger in many of the other positions. Thank God he's going to bed earlier because I remember when he got three hours of sleep before a really big game. Yeah. I'm a... I don't know what you're thinking in those situations. I don't either. Well, he's watching, he's watching, he's watching LPL at that point. <laughs> right. But. Well, yeah, well, at least he's learning it, from other regions. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, as we send it over to our casters to take us into Champions Select, Impact says it's a good time to be a top laner because of the wide selection of champions and strats he's got at his disposal. もうピジナ、いろんな大好きで、俺はヌヌとかなんかこう、もうバナジンがあって、これさちょっと<笑><笑> That was one of the worst experiences of my life, like, ever. And I've had to cast with... Do lineups. Okay, lineups, lineups yes. <laughs> Check out starting lineups on the blue side. It's Team Solo mid. In the top lane is Dyrus. In the jungle is Santor. In the mid is Bjergsen. AD carry a wild turtle. Supporting his Lust Boy. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you there. <laughs> ah, red side, though, it's Team Impulse. Up top, Impact. In the jungle, Rush, mid, Shaoi, Shao. AD carry Apollo and support Adrian. All right, so I guess we're going to get ourselves into champs like pretty soon, and we'll see just what crazy fun things Impact brings out. And what Xiao Xiao brings out, right? That's true, yeah. I mean, if we're just playing Yasuo and Fizz every game, we're good to go. Uh, if Rush keeps up the pattern, he'll just play Evelyn again, but we'll have to see. Cram for your...